All right, so today I'm going to show you how to add pictures to a photo template or a um, Tumblr photo template. So first thing I'm going to do is open the template that I'm going to use. So let me go to my skinny tumblers. I'll type in Polaroid because I have too many to try and find one. And I'm going to do this camping one. So I'm going to open that up. Now I picked the warp file, which you can tell here because it's angled on both sides and then has a slight bend at the top and bottom. Um, I picked the warped one because that's what my tumbler is. If your tumbler is straight, pick the straight one, obviously. Okay, so I use Photoshop, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop, but it would be the same process in any other program. So in Photoshop, I go to File, Place Embedded. Now I'm going to go to my pictures. And I'm going to choose which picture I want. So first I'm going to start with this, this one. Now you'll see when I place my photo, it places it on top of my template. I don't want it on top of my template. I want it below. So if you come over to your layers panel, you'll see the template is on top or the template is below right now. So I'm going to drag the picture now below. So now you can see it's below the template, but it's way too big. So in Photoshop, I hit control T for transform. And whatever program you're using, however you size your pictures or any of your artwork, you'll want to use that process. Okay, so I'm just going to size it to where I want it, how it's showing through. And then I'm going to turn it so that it matches the angle of the Polaroid. Okay, and hit enter. So I'm going to keep doing that. File, place embedded, not place link. File, place embedded until I have all five of my picture holes, my transparent areas filled. I'm just going to angle the picture how I want it. File, place embedded. What picture do I want next? Okay, so I'm going to size it down. I actually want it a little bigger so that the boys just kind of showing through there. Okay, sure. File, place embedded. This one. Now, see, I can't even see the picture, but I can see where my outline is. And I can just drag it into the photo spot I want it. So this works on any design that has a transparent area. Now this can be tumblers, this can be ornaments, whatever you're working on, this is how you add your pictures. So you open the design template and then drag your photos below. I can also use my arrows to move it around how I want it. All right, so all of my pictures are now placed. So if I don't want to add any text, I just print and press. And if you need to know how to press them, you can check out my other video um, that goes through everything from the print from after you print to pressing it. So I'm going to take you up until you print on this one, uh, especially with adding pictures here. All right, so if I do want to add text, then I'm going to click the top layer again. That's the design template layer, and I'm going to hit my text. I usually like to use, um, I'm going to change my text color to black, and I like to use like a handwriting font. That's just my personal preference, and the one I like is called Audina, but you can use whatever text you want. And then let's make it smaller. I'll do 30. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks good. So then I just start adding text. Now, I also like it when my text follows the angle of the Polaroid. So I just angle it and center it. Okay, and then same thing. 
and I'm going to just caption all of them. You do not have to do that. If you didn't want to, you could have already been printing and pressing. I personally like the way it looks when I do that, when I add the little tabs here. Use my kids yelling in the background. Okay. You could add whatever you want to them, dates, or if you did the camping one and you wanted to put the different places you were camping, that would be really cute. So there's lots of different things you can do with the captions themselves. That one might be a little bit too big. I might have to shrink down the text. We'll see once I get it angled. But if I wanted to, I could shrink down that text a little bit so it didn't get covered by the lantern that's there. Okay, so now I'm ready to print. And then you can watch my next video on how to press the tumbler if you don't already know how to do that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.